Today I'm going to show how I built my take on the bucket stool. I needed a side table for the nook under my loft bed and realized that the short futon would make a bucket stool the perfect height for a side table. I also already had all of the supplies for a bucket stool, a Home Depot bucket, scrap Baltic birch plywood, and some concrete mix. I designed the legs in AutoCAD and incorporated my favorite features from Ben Ueda's original stool and Jesse Ueda's bucket stool 2.0. This was really simple with just a few quick measurements of the bucket and a typical chair seat height. This gave me all the dimensions I needed to design each leg. I only needed to set my angle gauge once to cut each of the three legs, since the top and bottom of each leg are parallel to one another. By using an existing straight edge on each piece of plywood, this made marking out the legs really simple. Once they were all marked out, I used my circular saw to cut out the three legs. Next, I set my angular gauge to 120 degrees to create angular spacers for the legs. The reason for these is pretty clear in my AutoCAD drawing, to equally arrange the three legs in a circle, like the Mercedes logo. I used my jigsaw to cut out these spacers. They came out pretty rough, but it doesn't really matter since they'll get buried in concrete anyway. The only real important part of these is that each one is 120 degrees. When screwing the legs to the spacers, I purposefully used overlong screws to give the concrete more geometry to grab onto. The plywood split pretty bad here, but again, this part would be cast into concrete so it wasn't really a big deal, as long as the spacers did their job. I also added screws to the top of the leg assembly to elevate it off the bottom of the bucket. Before casting, I greased the bucket with vegetable shortening to help with demolding the stool. I used Quickcrete 5000 concrete mix with as little water as necessary to maximize the stool's strength and density. I alternated adding concrete mix and water until I had about 3 inches of fresh concrete, and then cast in the leg assembly by pushing and twisting it into place. Tapping the bucket would temporarily liquefy the concrete, making it much easier to jiggle the leg assembly into place. I also used a bladeless jigsaw to vibrate out any extra air bubbles. I covered the bucket with a trash bag to keep the concrete moist while it cured for two days. After pouring off the excess curing water, I was able to remove the stool with a bit of force. While the concrete was still damp, I followed Jesse Ueda's tip and rounded over the stool's rough lower lip with a paint scraper and some sandpaper. I love how a three-legged stool never wobbles, but three skinny legs in this orientation don't provide much stability against twisting. To fix this, I made plywood braces to span between the legs elevated over the ground by the thickness of two 2x4s. Finding the angles for these braces followed a similar procedure as when you're hanging drywall. I butted a flat edge of plywood against two legs and used my angle gauge to copy angles onto the plywood. I used my combination square to make sure the legs edges were perfectly lined up with my lines. I repeated this process for two more braces, cut them out with my jigsaw, and glued everything together. I sanded the legs up to 220 grit and finished them with two coats of satin varathane. I finished the concrete top with Thompson's water seal. Sealing the concrete might be overkill for a bucket stool, but I have a ton of this stuff left over from my fountain and a little protection never hurt. Maybe it would save the piece from a water ring someday. 
I think the bucket stool is a great project, not just because it's simple and a beautiful design, but also because it's ripe for modifying to your own creativity and constraints. Thanks to Ben and Jesse Ueda for the inspiration, and thank you for watching. Be sure to check out some of my other videos while you're here.